Hello, welcome once again to Northworthy Sagas and Stories. Please feel free to leave a comment and uh, please smash the like button. This is a story about the King and Queen of the Gods, known to the men of the far north as Odin and Frigga, or Freya. The two goddesses who were once worshipped as one by earlier peoples, such as the pagan Anglo-Saxons, the early Anglish or English people, who called them Woden and Freya, worshipping them on Woden's day and Freya's day. And they were also known by the same names to another tribe of wandering Germanic barbarians in the Dark Ages. These people were originally called the Winillas, and they'd been making their way south until they came across an enemy army, another barbarian tribe who were seeking to gain land and acquire territory for themselves. This tribe had a warlike reputation. They were called the Vandals. Both sides had a great host of warriors, two mighty armies. Neither one would yield, and it seemed there would be no choice. No choice at all, other than to fight a great battle between them. Now the two sides were camped, either end of a great valley. The Vandals, they offered prayers, made sacrifices in the name of Woden, King of the Gods. The Winillas, well, they did the same thing, except that they honoured Freya, Queen of the Gods. And way up in the First World, in the land of the gods itself, Osgiard. Woden and Freya, they sat in their hall, looking down upon the battlefield. And Freya, she turned to her husband and said, Only last week I made you a gift of a fine sword made by the dwarves. I think it's time that you recompense me with a gift. Give victory to those who honour me. Ensure that the Winillas win the battle tomorrow. Now Woden, of course, well, he'd already made his mind up. Naturally, he favoured the Vandals who sacrificed in his name. But he said to his wife, my dear, I would be glad to comply with your request, but in the interests of fairness, I will say that I'll give victory to whoever my eyes see first when I awake in the morning. Now Friar knew her husband, and she knew what kind of devious game he was playing, because after all, up on the raised shelf in their hall, in the land of the gods, Woden always slept on the right hand side. This meant when he opened his eyes in the morning, he'd be looking towards the western end of the valley where the Vandals were camped. And so Freya thought about this and she sent word to the Winillas who worshipped her, and she told their priests to make it known that overnight the women of the Winillas were to don armour and put on helmets, and they were to comb their hair forwards, 
and wear it under their chin, under the strap of the helmets, so that it hung down from their face. And overnight, what else, you may ask, did that clever woman do? She took the bed in which he and her husband slept, and she turned it around, so that now her husband slept upon the eastern side. And in the morning, with the dawn, as the sun came up over the eastern end of the valley, the bright rays shone through Woden's eyelid. And he looked, and framed by the rising sun, all he could see were the outlines of warriors in armour, in chain mail, with masked helmets. And he could see hair streaming below their chins. And he blinked. He looked at them. He couldn't recognise them. He said to his wife, Who are these long beards? And there and then, Friar had him. These, my husband, are the people known as the Winillas. But now, you've renamed them. And as everyone knows, it's customary throughout the northern world that if one gives a nickname or a new name to anyone, it must be accompanied by a naming gift. And that's what I expect from you now, husband, to give these people the gift of victory. And so it was that the wind blowing across the battlefield caught the raven banner carried by the Winillas, who are now known as the Longbeards. And the banner fluttered, and so it was a sure sign of what was to happen. After a long, hard, fierce fight, a terrible slaughter, the Vandals were vanquished. The Winillas, the Longbeards, had won the day. And that's how the goddess Freya got the better of her husband Woden. And that's how the Lombards, or the Langbards, as they're also known, got their name. And thereafter, they settled in the region named after them, a place called Lombardy. And for now, that's the end of the story. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Please subscribe, and also, please click on the notification bell. Thank you.